What's going on, everybody? It's JB coming to you live from Playa de Carmen, Mexico. And today, I want to talk about something very, very serious about your VA disability claim. What I want to talk about is how do you get the rating, the highest rating that you deserve? You know, ratings are definitely connected to the severities of your disabilities. You can get connected, service connected, but you can have a zero service connection. You can have a 10% service connection. You can have a 20% service connection, but if you're trying to get a high value claim at 80 to 100%, how can you do that? Okay. First of all, you need to get familiar with the Title 38 Part 4 rating disabilities. Okay. Title 38 Part 4 schedule of ratings for each and every disability. Let me give an example. Okay. Let's say you're looking up PTSD. That's a mental disorder. So you look up Title 38 Part 4 and scroll down to it says mental disorders. And when you click on the mental disorders, it's going to pull up everything for as schizophrenia, major depressive disorder, anxiety disorder, PTSD, PTSD. They're all rated the same. What you need to look at is the schedule of ratings. The schedule means the rating scale. Okay. Now, you can have PTSD being just thrown out the military at 50%. That's the standard. That's not basically saying that you only exude a 50% disability rating for severities. Your severities could be 70%, but however, they throwing out 50% just to get you out the military. I see a lot of that with telephone consultations. But you can get a 70% rating if you have at least three symptoms in the 70% rating. All of the symptoms are spelled out in black and white on every percentage with PTSD or any mental disorder or any disability. All you have to do is make sure that you meet at least three of those symptoms. Let me give you an example. Let's say you go to our psychologist, all right? You become a new life insider, and I send you to a psychologist. That psychologist is going to examine you according to the DSM-5. This is the statistic manual for mental disorders that he has to do this by law. But your symptoms would dictate to the VA rater at your regional office on the percentage. If your symptoms to meet the 70% percentile is obsessional rituals, locking the doors at night, or going to the grocery store early in the morning, or just not going to the grocery store at all and ordering all your groceries in, inside because you're a loner occupational and social impairment that's another symptoms if you have an occupational impairment you're getting fired on your jobs social impairment you're not keeping in uh, relationships with your spouse or your brothers your friends your family those are all symptoms that exude a 70 percent rating that's just two all right a third one if if you you may be suicidal contemplating on taking your life or taking somebody else's life but don't have a plan to do it you know, I, I suffer from that. I'm going to just tell you right now. I have contemplated killing myself, but I didn't have a plan because I was homeless. Getting out of homelessness for eight years, comparing myself to other friends of mine at my same age and where they are in their life, compared to my life. And I wanted to just say, like, I was saying things like, man, what's the, what's the sense of living? I got sleep apnea. I'm walking around with scars on my nose. I gotta wear this machine at night. I'm hearing nightmares about man overboard. I'm having flashbacks of a fight where a guy sucker punched me on several nights out the week. You know, I mean like, I can't stop this. I went undiagnosed for years. I can't stop this. So when I finally got diagnosed by my psychologist and got diagnosed from my VA doctor, they gave me prescriptions to keep down the nightmares, clopromazine, I have to take that at night. And then the antidepressants, I have to take that during the day. You mean to tell me I gotta take two pills every single day to get my sanity? Don't you deserve a pay, a paycheck or a payment for that kind of disability? That you gotta take a pill to keep back the nightmares, to keep back the tears, to get back. This is the symptoms or the severities of ratings that will get you a high value claim because I guarantee you this if you have a 70% rating and a 250 that's 100% all day long I know that sounds crazy 
70, 50 is 120, 120, 50 is 170. But that's not what the rating is for VA disability. A 70 is 50 and a 90. 90 and 50 is 95. They round it up to 100 because it's 95. Now, because I'm 100% permanent total, that's allowed to pay for most of my whole expenses in my life, household expenses, transportation expenses. And that's why I'm sitting here right now on the beaches of Mexico, Playa de Carmen. Right now, I'm shooting a commercial about VA disability and to bring more veterans in to get their high value claim. I'm just gonna give you a little snapshot of the resort I'm in right now. This is Friday. Um, I don't know what time it is, probably maybe 12, one o'clock in the day. I'm gonna turn the camera around if I can. This is my present situation. My question to you is, are you gonna get that 100% rating? Are you gonna shoot for the high value claim? Are you gonna get what's owed to you by serving the greatest country in the world? Wearing the baddest uniform in the world? Representing the most wealthiest country in the world? And you're injured? and not go after it the right way. Get the blueprint, becoming a new life insider, and get the highest value that you and your family deserve. Get your family detected, uh, protected once you pass away. If that's you, I want you to log on to newlifeveterans.com right now, today. Don't put it off, stop procrastinating, take action. Fill out the form, request a telephone consultation so we can interview you and see if there's a there's an opportunity to get you a high value claim. And if that's it, we can do that for you. I'll ask you to join the Life Insider program, go see our doctors, our specialists, and so you can start getting that high value claim. I talk to you guys soon. God bless you guys. I'm gonna leave you with this view. If money was an issue in your life, most of the bills to pay for, how stress free would you be? Talk to me. I'll holler at you guys soon. God bless.